back to my channel. So today I am showing you guys my favorite nude lippies and this was highly requested because all I ever wear on my Instagram is nude lip colors and you guys are always asking what I have on my lips. So I have here all of my favorite nude lippies and I have both high-end and drugstore items and I would say about 90% of it is drugstore items. So I have lip liners, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and lip glosses. So if you guys are interested in seeing my favorite nude lippies, First, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and let's go ahead and get to the video. So I'm filming this video for the second time because I filmed it the first time a couple nights ago at like 2 in the morning. I was trying to edit the footage this morning and I was like, whoa, I look shook. I also am planning on filming a like go-to glam slash going out look and I know I haven't done a lot of like makeup looks on my channel. If you want to see more makeup looks from me, let me know and I'm happy to do more of those. I also uploaded a dad voiceovers my video and it's like this red smoky eye that I did on my Instagram stories a while back and it is hilarious so if you guys haven't seen that yet I'll link it up in the corner but anyways let's go into some of these new lipsticks and the makeup that I'm wearing in this video I will put it down in the description box and if I forget again let me know on my lips I have this LA girl lip liner in keep it spicy and I will mention this later and then on top of it I have the NYX matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi anyways let's go into my favorite lip liners and I'm gonna try to do it in the order of pink to like orange brownie tones. First off, I have this one by NYX. This is the NYX lip liner in the color Natural. I love this lip liner because I feel like the color is so pretty. It's like a good mauve pink color, but it's not super, super pink. Like it'll go with a lot of things. I go for this one a lot, especially if I have a lip color that's a little bit too nude. If you want something that's like your lips but better. This one is a really good pink toned one that I like and the formulation and texture of this is really nice and it lasts me a really long time. Next, I have this MAC lip liner in the color Spice. This is actually my first MAC lip liner that I've ever bought. After trying this one out, I think it's totally worth the hype and your money. So I'm gonna have to go pick up some more of these. This one's more of a like deeper pink color. If I were to describe it, I would say it's spicy. I just feel like this is a really good your lips but better if you have naturally darker lips. I love the texture of these MAC lip liners. They're so smooth and creamy and they last all day and any lip color you put on top is gonna wear like all throughout the day. Next up I have this NYX suede matte lip liner in the color Sandstorm and this is what the color looks like. I am obsessed with this line of uh, lip liners by NYX. I feel like the NYX suede line just has really good nude undertones and a lot of their liquid lipsticks I really like as well and the formula of these lip liners really remind me of the MAC one. It's a little bit more brown tone than the first one was. They're all slightly different and if I don't want something that is quite as pink, I'll go for this one. Then I have the NYX retractable lip liner in the color natural and I actually don't mind that this one is a retractable lip liner it's kind of handy if I just want to like toss it in my purse and bring it with me and I don't have to worry about having a sharpener on me all the time the three of these are really similar but if you have them side by side they have slightly different undertones and this one is a little bit more like nude and browny than the first than the other grayish ones were. The undertone is just really pretty and it all depends on what lippy you're going for. I reach for this one a lot, especially if I just wanna like throw a lip liner on my lips and then go out the door. Then I have this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Hot Gossip. Charlotte Tilbury is bougie and I think this one is actually worth your money because I feel like the way that it applies on your lips and wears throughout the day is so beautiful and long lasting. All her lip liners have such a good undertone that it's easy to overline your lips and it makes your lips look super plump and natural and it doesn't look like you were. So this is what the color looks like. This one is a little bit more like a orangey color than the rest of the other ones but I really like this color. I feel like um, with a peach on top is really pretty too. It's just really versatile because the undertones of it are so neutral It's not too pink. It's not too orange or brown and it's just a good color again The formulation of this is amazing and I actually reach for this one a lot next I have essence long-lasting lip liner in the color lovely frappuccino and I actually wore this one in one of my most recent uh, Instagram videos and I'm just a big fan of these essence lip liners because they're so affordable I'm pretty sure they're like two or three dollars. They last so long. It's so smooth and creamy me and this one is a little bit more of a like hot pink slash berry color than the rest of them but 
I really like this lip liner. I feel like it's a really good um, Your Lips but Better color if it's more, if you want something that's more on the pinky side. For me, I prefer more like orangey brown, so I don't reach for this one as much as I do like my Charlotte Tilbury or my MAC one. But I think it's a really good like pink berry color if you're looking for a lip liner that has these undertones. And again, I like the texture and the formulation of this lip liner a lot. Next, this one is probably my favorite one that I've picked up from the drugstore so far. I want to go back and pick up a couple more backups, but this is the LA Girl Ultimate lip liner in the color keep it spicy I picked this one up from Fred Meyer a couple weeks ago and I have just been wearing it non-stop ever since and it's the one I have on my lips right now but as you can see it is just like the most perfect undertone I like how deep it is because that way when I overline my lips it just looks really natural and it always makes my lips look super plump I like that it's not too brown either and it has enough undertones that it could look like your lips but better finally I have this one from wet n wild in the color willow and my girlfriend and Rainier Kramer actually gifted this to me and she's actually on YouTube so make sure you guys follow her what it looks like and this one is lighter than the rest of them but I really like this one if you want to go for like a lighter nude color especially if your lips are a little bit lighter or you're a little bit lighter skin tone than I am I feel like this one has really good undertones and it's a nice orangey mauve shade and it's not super pink and it's not too grayish either. I will say it's a little bit more drying than the rest of the other lip liners but Wet n Wild has really good colors um, in their range. Okay, so first off, I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the color London. I have had this for ages. I keep repurchasing it over and over, and it is just such a good, like, nude lip color. It wears nicely throughout the day so that, like, by the end of six hours, it doesn't look disgusting in your lip. This is what the color looks like. I like that it's not super matte. Like I said, it's just a good, comfortable matte. Soft matte lip cream is just like the perfect description of this. I love this color because it's such a good nude. Like it's not too pink or too orange or brown and it's just like the perfect nude. It also dries really matte as well and it stays really well throughout the day. So really like this lip color. And then I have another soft matte lip cream from NYX in the color Abu Dhabi and this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is what the color looks like. This one is a little bit more pinky than the last one was but I really like the undertone of this. Some days when you want like a more pinky lip, this is what I go for it and it's so easy to just throw on and head out the door. I like carrying this one with me in my purse and it's just like a perfect your lips but better but it's a little bit more grayer tone than a lot of the lip colors that I have which I like. And another lippy that I have by NYX butter lipstick in the color tan lines. Um, this one is a little bit more sheer than the matte lip creams. I like this one because it's more of a satin finish versus like a matte. It keeps my lips super moisturized so if you have like drier lips or it's in the winter time and you don't want to be wearing super matte lip colors I really like this lipstick because it's super comfortable and it is like a lip butter the color of it is just so pretty like it's a really good in between of the first two matte lip creams that I swatched and it's just like your perfect your lips but better color and in my last few videos where I'm wearing like a nude lipstick most likely this color and I have it on my lips all the time it's just such a comfortable formulation it lasts me a long time and the color is really perfect so I really like this one by NYX next one I have this Milani lipstick in the color Bahama Beige and I feel like no one ever talks about these Milani lipsticks but I love them so much the formula of it is really nice it almost reminds me of a like high-end lipstick in the way that it like wears and applies on your lips. This one is just as sheer as the next one. The two of them are really similar in color. I just appreciate the tones of this one like it's really hard to find a drugstore lip color that isn't too pink or shimmery and this one is just a really good comfortable nude. I also love the formula of this lipstick because I feel like it's so buttery and smooth color and all these are so similar but you can if you see them all side by side you can see that this one is slightly deeper than the NYX matte lip creams and then it's a little bit more orangey tone. I really like this lip color. Grab it a lot especially if I just want to cut out the door and I just want something quick and easy that'll last me a really long time on my lips I really like this one next I have this MAC lipstick in the color touch and this color is just such a beautiful nude I feel like a lot of the MAC lipsticks that are so highly raved and talked about are a little bit too pink for my liking this one is just a really good one it's a little bit deeper than all the other colors that I showed previously I really like the undertones of it and it's super comfortable like I have MAC velvet teddy and it's just like too pink and rosy for me and some of the other ones that I've swatched I just didn't really care for too much because like I said I like more brown toned nudes. This lipstick is like a luster so it's not super matte but it wears really well throughout the day and it's really comfortable on your lips as well. Lastly for the lipsticks I have this one from Dos 
color is called More Creamer Please and this one was in collaboration with Desi and Katie. And I love this color. I don't have a lipstick in my collection that looks like this and it's just such a good like orangey brown color. It's really matte and opaque so I like throwing it over any type of lipstick that's a little bit too pink. I just love the way that it looks. It's super comfortable and long lasting. Like I said, I really like the undertones and it's really unique. So if you've been looking for a lipstick that's a little bit more on the brown tone side and everything that you've tried is just too rosy, I would highly recommend picking this up. I just love Dose of Colors um, formula. Also, one thing I will say about this is I will hardly ever wear it alone. I have to wear it with like a darker lip liner or like a rosier lip liner on the outside of my lips just because by itself it kind of just looks like I have concealer on my lips because it is such a nude color. But if you mix it with other colors or if you have like a darker color on the outside of your lips and blend this in with it, it looks really, really good. And next I have some liquid lipsticks that I really love and I don't wear liquid lipsticks as often just because I don't like my lips to look super dry and like I don't like my makeup in general to look cakey, so I usually go for either a lip gloss, lip liner, or a lipstick. So I don't wear liquid lipsticks as often, but when I do, I really like the formula of these ones. And so the first one I will mention is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the color Spice. And I picked this one up from Nanny's down in Los Angeles. I just love the formula of their matte lipsticks, and I feel like it's so comfortable. And this is what the color looks like. It's just like a really good pink color. This one is a little bit more like orangey pink instead of like a true rosy pink. I really like it because it's really comfortable on and the color of it is so amazing. It's deep enough that it looks like it could almost pass as like your lips but better. This one is pretty nude so I will always line my lips if I want to use this liquid lipstick but love the formulation of this and the color of it is really really pretty. Next I have the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Sandstorm. I love these um, NYX Suede formulation. The lip line are amazing. This one is such a good like grayish pink color. I like to mix a lot of my lipsticks like there's hardly ever a color that I will just put on and go. Especially with my liquid lipsticks I feel like I haven't found a color yet that is like the exact tone that I'm looking for. Sometimes when I have a color that's a little bit too bright or orangey or pink and I kind of just want to tone it down a little bit I'll mix this in and it helps to gray out my lips a little bit more and makes my lips look a little bit more deeper tone. I really like this liquid lipstick. I feel like the formula of it is really good too. It's not super dry. It lasts me all day. Again, it's just a really good color to mix in. Next, I have this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream and this one is in the color Adorable. I remember I debated for the longest time whether or not I needed another color like this, but it ended up being one of my favorite drugstore liquid lipsticks. I feel like the formula of this is so good too. Like, it's really comfortable and it lasts me all day and it's not super drying on my lips as well. I really like the packaging as well. It just really looks like luxe and high-end. This one is a little bit more like pinky tone than all the other colors that I've showed you but once it dries down matte it looks really good on your lip. I don't usually gear towards colors that are so pink and mauve like that but again once it dries down it looks really good on your lips. Just like the formula of this uh, liquid lipstick as well. Then lastly, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Ashton. I remember this was one of my first high-end lipsticks that I purchased because I was always such a big drugstore gal. I've been searching for a dupe for this color. There wasn't a good drugstore color that was close enough to this one, so I finally ended up buying it. It's one of my favorite colors of all time and it's such a good dark nude especially if you have like darker lips or if you want like a deeper lip color i feel like this one is a really good deep nude and it just has such pretty undertones and i don't have any lipstick that looks like this. I really like their liquid lipstick formula. It's really comfortable but it's not, it's a little bit more drying than some of the other ones that I have but I still really like it. It's not as drying as my ColourPop one. I really like the color of this Ashton liquid lipstick and I just feel like it's a really good nude if you want to go like deeper but you don't want to go for like a color lipstick either. Okay finally I have three lip glosses here that I love. First one I'm going to talk about is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Fenty Glow. I feel like this is such a good perfect color if you just want to like pop it on your lips and head out the door. You don't have to line your lips. You don't have to wear a color underneath or anything. But also if you want to put it on top of whatever lip color you're wearing. Like it enhances your lips and just makes them look super plump and juicy. This is what the gloss looks like. I just love the undertones of it so much. And it's a good comfortable gloss. It's not too sticky. You kind of like put it on forget that you have it on your lips. So this is like my ride or die lip gloss. Next I have this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss and this is in the color trailblazer this is what it looks like this one is it looks like a crazy bright orange but once you put it 
on your lips it really enhances the like brown and orangey tones and whatever lip color you're wearing I really like this if I'm wearing something that's a little bit too gray and I kind of wanted to brighten up the lips a little bit I would pop this on and I just really like that it's a more orangey color because I feel like so many different glosses have such pink undertones I just love popping it on top of like whatever lip color or nude that I have and it just enhances it and makes your lips look super plump and juicy finally I have this NYX butter gloss in the color Madeline I have a couple backups of this because because I used to be obsessed with it and this gloss is a little bit lighter than the previous two that I was talking about um, it's more of a like mauve pink color it's kind of funny because my natural lip color is a little bit darker than this lip gloss is so when I first put it on you can kind of see it sitting on top of my lips but I'll kind of pat it and blend it out with my fingers and once it warms up it looks like a really pretty nude lip gloss it is a little bit sticky when you first put it on i like this color and the formula of it is really nice and it's also a bonus that you can find it at the drugstore that is it for all of my favorite nude lippies i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure you thumbs up this video leave a comment down below which one was your favorite nudes or if you have any nudes i didn't mention let me know i'd love or if you guys have any nudes that I didn't mention, I would love to know which nudes are your guys' favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I do have a couple other videos here, so make sure you check those out before you go. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.